releases Duncan. Duncan spots Motlop. Motlop can take the mark and run it. Wow. Decided against it. Now he's got to go back and kick the goal. Motlop, first things first, needs to kick the goal. Here he comes. Kick is on the way. Part one is done. He puts it through. We've seen a few injuries as Guthrie comes bursting out of the centre. Stevie Motlop, he went the fake on Bagley. And he was good enough to mark it. Party time for the Cats. Stevie plays on and kicks goal number 14 for Geelong. And just spots up Howard, but he doesn't come out in the footy. And Mackie with a desperate lunge sets up Motlop. He tries to draw the player, but he doesn't come. And Stevie J was a little disappointed, but he understood Motlop goals. Obi directs it down, standing at his feet. Gray, that's Robbie Gray. Motlop made something out of nothing. Sweetly timed. He got a fist on it. Hawkins trying to improvise. Comes to Motlop. Spins out of trouble. He's been watching Wingard. Johnson creates his own space. Hurriedly down towards full forward. Brilliant gather by Hawkins. To no one in particular, or was it? Did he spot Motlop? Motlop spots the goals, and through it goes. His second. Towards half forward. Mark is not taken. Blitz has the hand pass. is good. Motlop should finish. He does. Motlop's got his first. Two in a minute. To unfold. And then through to Lonigan. And now to the pace. Of Motlop turning heads as he always does, gets to the 50, goes for Caddy. He's got it. He's taken the mark. Well, it's now or never now for the Cats. Hawkins wants to go short. Not sure about that. Oh, I did say that after he dropped the mark. He's still going, Motlop. Still a live ball. Out of nothing, he kicks a goal. 50, rough head. Flew high, needed to mark that one. Blitzarves, Motlop from a step inside the 50. Oh, that's big. Really big. He's got two. And the lead is 13 points. Attempt mark there on that occasion. And the Cats are going to get it back. And now Motlop wants to play on, take a risk. This is the goal they need. Stevie Motlop gets his first. Cats have got the lead back. It's really strange. Attempted mark, wasn't it, by Bruce? And just came flying back, and Motlop made the pay. On the line, Selwood gets the first clean possession. A long one down to Hawkins, bobbling around. Got a handball away, and then a very clever double hand push. Motlop down his throat. Hawkins, that was brilliant. There's great pressure, a good tackle there by Hooley, but just that knock then. That presence of mind to get it to Motlip and Richmond's job becomes all the more difficult now. Now we did a bit of a ring around, found out what sort of a person you are around the footy club. You like scaring your teammates with Prankster. Hold. Oh, I get Prankster. bored easily. So you, you get bored easily. Yeah. And what does it involve? Scaring your teammates. Uh, oh, scaring. <laughs> yeah. Now this has got some yeah, vision. Brian Cook. Oh. <laughs> I didn't mean to get cookie though. Who's this one? <laughs> Nathan Vardy. Nathan Vardy. Who's this? Nathan Vardy Bard. again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Harry Taylor. <laughs> so, oh, wacky's only guys uh, no, down No, wacky, John. mate. Wacky down So, we're in the uh, backstage before. Mm. He goes, Billy, yeah. come here. I've got something. No, no. What about the old bloke? We'll scare him. I said, he might die. He might <laughs> die. Yeah. But, well, I didn't think about that, though. No, no, exactly. <laughs> and you couldn't wait to scare the old fossil, and this is how it went. <laughs> <laughs>